hello my people good afternoon welcome back to our channel good morning good evening yeah we are here again urging you to please stay glued to this channel like what we are doing because it is for your good we are here for you all right now prime minister just uh, tweeted something he said if this is true if this is true please do not participate you know he got something from nigerian government which they say is uh, for public announcement Ministry of uh, Interior, Federal Republic of Nigeria, date of 15th of May 2023. Public announcement. The general public has been advised to proceed to the local government headquarters nearest to them to obtain a certificate of endurance and survival. This is in line with the decision of the Federal Executive Council. The certificate will serve as our sincere honor for your endurance and patriotic citizenship during the eight years of President Muhammad Buhari GCFR administration. Date for exercise from 1st of June to 30th of June, 2023. You must be 18 years and above. That is the requirement. You must have lived in Nigeria for at least five years between June 2015 and May 2023. You must provide your national ID or any other means of uh, identification. He said, if this is true, if truly this is true, please do not collect. Go, don't go there. What do they mean by endurance and survival? <laughs> this, is, this is witchcraftsy. Honestly speaking, yes, we survived and we endured, but why giving us certificates? Why are they giving the Nigerian citizens certificate of suffering, certificate of how God saved them from witchcraftsy in APC? That is exactly what that means. How dare you? That's, that's, that's a certificate from govern. Oh, you survived it. That means they want to toughen the, the exercise. The one they did before, you, you managed to survive, so they want to increase it and hike it in the name of uh, APC, continuation of that uh, Tunubu and, um, and um, Shetima. Um, yeah, Shetima. Right? Our people should learn to run away from Nigeria. I'm not talking about traveling. I'm talking about separating yourself from whatever they are doing that you don't understand. This one is number one, Islamization agenda. It has never happened in any part of the world. Certificate of Endurance and Survival. Is that a mockery? Is that a caricature? Is that a joke? If it is not a joke, I just wish it's a joke. But in any way, it is not a joke, then run away from it. Do not collect. All right? That takes us to what the governors in the Southeast are doing right now. They said they want to name the the um, Niger Bridge, Second Niger Bridge, after Buhari. After Omahi, named airport after Buhari. Anything they do in the Southeast, that is how they worship Fulani. And that is how we lost every integrity we have as a, as a, as a race. Governors know how to sell off Igbo land. They want to still go and take what Jonathan started and they rigged him out of office. They now did something that cannot even pass, a, a, a ship, big ship cannot pass through it. They now did it and you want to give them certificate, oh, they have built bridge, Second Niger Bridge for you. Is it with their personal money that they built that bridge? Is it with their personal money? Is it not with, from Nigerian coffer, from the money they are making from oil? After they must have damaged a lot of things in, in every part of the region. Killing. Killing. They have killed many people. Instead of you to frown at so many lives we lost, you are now naming every infrastructure after Buhari. I don't understand it. Omahi should learn to mind his business. Omahi should learn, should learn that he is just an individual. His small brain, wrecked by Fulani, should not be used to decide what happened in the Southeast. He has been wrecked politically. We, we know he is the most obedient servant of Fulani. That is his own, in his pocket. He shouldn't, he shouldn't just rob all of us. That dirtiness. 
all right governor should be talking somebody like soludo you all of you are there you are muted when things are going wrong you are muted they are signing you into a lot of things and you are coming in turn telling us you are our leader are you sure how come the youth are thinking faster how come the youth are better how come it is only the youth that say the truth You know, we are warning our people. That is why you should stay glued to what concerns you. Because this Nigeria, you see, it has divided along ethnic lines, religious lines, and in fact, there's no unity. So people should be running to their region. Run for your safety. Hence, a government like this cannot, cannot save lives. What they do is to Keep quiet in the face of massacre, in the case of pogrom, in the case of killing of all sorts. Right now, as I speak, the mouth of Benue State Governor has been sealed because he cannot say what he has he's seen. Fulani have finished people there every day, 18, 20, 1800, 1300. No, he's even tired of mentioning how many people they've lost in this regime. This, they say, is ending by 29th of May. This, they say, is ending by 29th of May. And they want you to come and collect certificate of endurance and survival. That is in, time, in the, in the Tinu, Tinubu's time. That is if Tinubu happened to be there. He's the one giving you the certificate of endurance and suffering or survival. God will forbid this, 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 this type of thing from happening to us. There is fire on the mountain. We need to run, run, run to make sure that Biafra comes. To those of you that are going to that uh, Biafra house and you are doing nonsense, sabotaging the effort, trying to rubbish and tarnish what we are doing, God will judge you because you don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. You are neither here nor there. You are just an agent because they paid you token. They just gave you token. And you feel whatever else we are doing, you, you can rubbish it. You should be mindful of what you're doing. And that's what we news we are giving to our people, you know, like urging you to like our videos, share and subscribe our vid our channel. God bless you.